Hey guys, my name is Ismaus and today I've been playing around with the sky texture that comes with Blender and I've realized that uh, it's a bit hard to interface with it or to understand how it works, especially if you're trying to get the, the right direction of the sunlight. Uh, for example, in this scene, I want to have uh, to have a hot spot. So to have light bounce off of the wall here, maybe touch on this seat a bit and then on the wall. But uh, playing around with these settings here, can be a hit and miss, especially if uh, you have a light scene and uh, you're not seeing any of uh, this light. For example, if I had it somewhere far like that, it can be very hard for you to know what direction uh, to change or to move this. So you can see I can play around with these settings and uh, it would be very hard for me to know what what correct uh, setting I have to use here to get uh, the sun to point where I want. So I found a quick trick uh, to uh, to get an easy fit, get easy feedback of where the sun is pointing uh, currently, and uh, that is you just find a flat surface like this and add something like a cube. Let me just go to this, add a tall cube like this, and then you can go to uh, the render preview. By, by the way, shout out to my add on here, uh, just a quick promo my the asset library add-on and uh, let me just show you how it works quickly if i wanted to add this candle i just hit add to the scene and you can see how quickly that is i uh, have a few other assets here that i can easily add in but uh, let's go back to the tutorial so yeah this if you go to the render preview and i have something like this you would easily tell uh, the direction of the the sun from the shadow of the object you have and uh, then from there you can easily play around with the settings and that could tell it can tell you the direction of uh, the sun for example here i can know that uh, uh, the sun is rotating is ro is pointing this direction and uh, you can even have two previews here if uh, your pc can handle it you can see it's very hard for me to know from uh, uh, the show the soft shadows in this interior scene uh, but uh, i can easily tell the direction of the sun from these uh, uh, hard shadows of this object so i can rotate this until I get the right direction. So I know for the sun to point this direction, uh, the shadow has to point it this direction. So I have to rotate this until you can see how is it. So it makes it, it takes away the guesswork uh, from this. So you don't even have to memorize what of these, any of these settings. You just have to add something like this into your scene just so you can get the direction of the sun from and then to get the elevation or altitude again you can just play around with this i'm actually not even sure what these settings are but uh, it doesn't seem to matter as long as you have something like this i uh, can easily so let's try an amplitude of one or zero doesn't seem to change much so for the elevation i think that's morning time actually looks quite nice say 10 you can even see how it uh, the elevation affects the length of the shadow so put that to is it the rotation or the elevation so let me bring this back so you can see i'm even forgetting the settings right here but because i have this object in here i can easily tell uh, where the, the sign is facing or where it is not so the elevation affects, I think, the length of your shadow. So just you can see. So by adding something like that, you can easily. Yeah, and that's it. And thanks for watching. And if you want to get the add-on, you can find it on my uh, Blender Market page. Uh, thanks for watching.